Just couldn't make make shots. And again, if we, uh, I thought defensively we were okay. I mean, De Silva's a really good player, man. He's he's, uh, you know, he's one of the best players you know in the conference. I think you know, just based off what I've been watching on tape and then seeing him you know now today. And he's, uh, so it was it was a tough one. Obviously a tough loss. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it was 14-2 to two at the end versus Stanford, and it's basketball it happens. You know, they, uh, you know, they're clutch players. You know, they're their best players. You know, the three that the Silva hit was a, was a kill shot. Uh, you know, when it was a two-point game, we needed a stop. The clock was running down, and he, uh, you know, he stepped up and drained it. So, um, and then we had other chances. We just didn't, uh, we didn't do our part offensively to, to generate enough points to win. I thought like late in the game as as like after he hit that three, those last couple of possessions were really bad, like to end it. But overall I was I was okay and happy with the players that were taking the shots for the most part. We had some we had some bad turnovers, like you can't turn the ball over after you just turn turn them over. You know, we did that one time and there was another one in front of our bench that we lost the ball out of bounds. Like we just you, know, you can't afford to do that when you know you're playing against a team that's that's playing pretty well. Do you think they maybe were a little bit more hungry having lost three the way they did up there? I mean, I'm sure there's a little more incentive, you know, on their end. I, I, it's hard to judge that or know that for sure. But uh, yeah, I mean they they played they played a quality game. They uh, you know they played through De Silva a lot. You know you always had to account for Simpson. Their other players made some shots, like Ruffian. Those two threes he hit were, were were big threes in the game. So they they did what they had to do, you know, to win, you know, a very close game where there wasn't a whole lot separating both teams. Is it still one? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Is it still one game at a time for you, or thinking about the tournament at all with a loss like that? I mean, you can't. You, you know, we we have to try and figure out a win Saturday. That's all I'm thinking about right now. That's uh, you know, it's a tough loss. The guys guys are. Uh, you know, demoralized to two degree in there. Um, you played a winning game, just uh, you just didn't have enough to finish it. It seemed like um, when, when your offense isn't great, um, it's just hard to get separation on teams consistently from a game to game basis. So how does that have a cumulative toll on you know, just dealing with that? I'm just a little distracted. Could you just repeat that, Chris? Yeah, is there, is there a cumulative toll to when you're not able to? I'm not sure, like what, what, how that impacts their mentality. Um, I don't know. I mean, they, at the end of the half, I mean, we, we didn't finish the half well again. That was like kind of like Oregon, a little bit here, where we had an eight-point advantage, 30 to 22 and 32 to 24, and then they scored a final eight. So, didn't finish the half well, didn't finish the game well. Uh, as to exactly why, I mean, I, I mean, just gotta. Review the shots. I mean, what's going on here? Um, review the shots that were taken. See where. The, what is there like a an animal over there or something? What, what are we doing? It's just some people working back there. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's it's uh, it's. I'll, I'll watch the tape and watch the film and see you know what those shot attempts looked like. But you know, it's hard to gauge that right now. Tell about Warren as far as should you have the minutes limit on him and. Where do you think he was stamina-wise coming off the sickness? He did some nice things in the second half. Had a good post move. Uh, had had the had the uh, the roll for the dunk to start the half. So that was good to see him do that. Um, not a great matchup for him because of how much perimeter defense he needs to play, considering their their lineups. And uh, you know, we couldn't make them pay. That's why the the, the Silva and, and him playing the five. They're a tough matchup because they. You know they they really still can rebound and defend the paint relatively well even with that smaller lineup we couldn't take advantage of Warren the way maybe I thought we could have when they took Lovering out of the game but um, to answer the question on the minute count I was trying like I took him out I think like 1640 in the second half he just looked winded um, usually he would have stayed a few more minutes under normal conditions it's hard to simulate missing a week and then having a few practices so but overall for what he's been through I think he did pretty well it seemed like you generated a lot of good offense um, early in the game easy horns you know comes out he's shooting it you get the, the high post stuff slips and all that um, you know just did you like the, 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 
how you guys were doing overall before kind of how things ended? I mean, I, yeah, we, uh, you know, they were switching a lot early, and they were switching Lovering on to DJ, and, and um, so those were good mismatches for us. And he was able to create sep space and get off pretty clean looks. Um, but yeah, we were we were flowing pretty well on offense. We had 20 points, I think, at the 11-minute mark in the first half, and uh, so for the rest of the next 30, we only scored, you know, what's some 39? I'm not great at math, but it was 39, I think, for the, for the next 30 minutes. So we just we got to find more ways to, to score. We didn't get to the free throw line either, really. You know, it was another issue. I mean, we only took five foul shots. So, you know, we had as many field goals as Colorado did. Uh, we just, you know, we couldn't find additional ways to, to put some points on the board.